What visitors find at a natural history museum may seem far removed from the present day, but the man who discovered the famous Lucy skeleton, Don Johansson, says these old bones carry a profound message across the ages. There is a single common origin for humanity. No matter the shape of our eyes, no matter the color of our skin, no matter the shape of our hair, no matter what kind of culture we live in, we all carry those same genes in our body. We are united by our past. We're united by this common beginning. It is an idea made even more important given that humans come from Africa, which wasn't understood clearly just 40 years ago. Through much of the 20th century, there was this very Eurocentric view that we all evolved in Europe that that was the finishing school for humanity. But now there's almost complete consensus among scholars who study human origins that Africa was the place, just as Darwin had predicted way back in the middle 1800s. Up until around the time Lucy's skeleton was discovered in Ethiopia. The year was 1974. At 3.2 million years old, she was the oldest human ancestor found at the time. But beyond a message of commonality, Lucy also welcomed us into a broader family of primates. Lucy, while she was found so many years ago, still remains terribly important for understanding our earliest beginnings and occupies a very important place on the human family tree as a, brand, as a bridge between more ape-like and more human-like creatures. Johansson says Lucy was just over a meter tall, with an ape-like face and a small brain. She had long arms and short legs, but she also possessed an important human feature, the ability to walk upright. But you can see glimmers of humanity in Lucy. Scientists recently discovered that Australopithecus used crude stone tools. That's something that our ape and chimpanzee cousins can do, but which is still uncommon in the natural world. As the saying goes, we've come a long way. Elizabeth Lee for VOA News, Los Angeles.